I'm not gonna uh, yeah mm. or I, I I don't want to uh, yeah okay so the if first one was uh, okay hold it hold it okay hold it hold it uh, cut me a break cut me a break yeah cut me a break and uh, yeah I'd like uh, I'd like to eat uh, your apple pie okay so uh, the first hold is about uh, D sound. D sound. You, you you know you don't really uh, say it. You say hold it. Well, actually, I would say usually we do say it. It's not strong, but hold it, hold it, hold it. And the idea is it really does move over here. Hold it. I would keep the D. Okay. The second one. Uh, cut me. Their break is W sound? Ah, Mia. No, it's going to be a Y sound. Cut y me sound. a break. Cut me a break. Cut me a break. Yeah, yep. great. And uh, the third one, uh, I'd like uh, to eat. Ah, yes. I'd, I'd like to eat. I'd like to, to eat or tweet. I'd like to eat. Yeah, this yeah, one is going to be a W. To eat. To eat. That's yeah, right. you, you know, so it's, it's really funny, yeah, uh, if, if, if you don't, yeah, if you didn't get the meaning here, you mean, I'd like to eat your <laughs> apple pie, tweet, tweet, you know. Yeah, yeah, it can be, right, it can be very confusing, that's right. That's why we have to remember when we connect vowels, um, we do add either a Y or a W, and after the O, I think it's always a W. I have to think about that again, but yeah, it's always going to be a W in this case. That's right. So you have to, that's why I always say, if you can say it, you can hear it. Yep. I'd like to, I'd like to beat. Uh, so if, if you say it fast, uh, I'd like to beat your apple pie. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Really fast. Uh, yeah, it's, it does sound like tweet, like in Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, great. Thank you. You bet. Other questions? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Shane. Uh, yes. I learned that I like to eat. Yeah. Uh, that that rule uh, certainly applies. But it's possible to say I, I like to eat. I like to eat. I mean, yeah, getting definitely. that uh, And then it, there's a... There's a funny kind of sound there. I, I like to eat. I say this because I heard that from from native speakers sometimes. Not very common. Yeah, it's more common to eat. Yeah, this is, this is the thing. After the word to, T-O, if there's a vowel following it, usually it's an oo sound. But as we yeah. know, two has those seven sounds, and sometimes we do keep the uh. So I'd like to eat. So in that case, to eat, to eat, it, the it's yeah. it's really tough. It's almost like this ends in an H, and yeah. this Y is really tiny, so it, it sounds like to eat, to eat, to eat. Yeah. That's possible. Mm -hmm. Now, what interesting pronunciation point. When Elaine says, did you just bolt your eyes? And then at him, at him, she obviously, when well, she clearly um, pronounces uh, the H, you point out in the uh, answer, answer video. Oh, that she didn't? That, that no, that, that the, this Ed is like uh, she kind of flapped. She flaps the T, and then it's, uh, uh, you uh, roll your eyes at him, at him, at him, at him. Okay. How about if? How about a stop? What do you think? What do you think about stop sound? A little bit of stop sound there. What do you think? No, I, stop sound at is him? absolutely possible. Uh, let me go back and listen to what she said, because um, yeah. I may have mistaught that. Let me listen again. Because because she she says it again, uh, one line later, you know. Yeah, hold it on a second. Me at 
came about you? Yeah. I don't think she makes stop sound. Wearing your crummy little Euro trash rags. I wouldn't think that I'm not good. That this mannequin is wearing a $1,200 Gautier dress. Oh, what, what are you saying? That, that I'm not good enough? This idiot's not good? Fit? Fit? that's you. You really think this looks okay? I'm... Perfect fit? Did I swallow your eyes at him? Yeah, at him, at him. So she does do kind of a D sound, but she also does keep the the H. Yeah, at him, at him. So um, it's but not is not yeah, it's not a, a proper stop sound. No, not really. Uh, she she uh, does make it a flap. Uh -huh. at, at him, at him, at him. At him, at him, at him, at him. At him. Uh huh. Okay, did you just roll your, your eyes at him? At him? That's right. That's this first one. That's right. Because it's it's funny because the, when she says, uh, because let me tell you something. If anybody, if anybody should be, she, uh, I think she makes a stop sound with the F. Is if anybody, you know, it's a. Uh, what do you think? Well, let me listen here. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I think maybe you're flattering yourself. And that money can be better. Other way? Ah, uh, it's not there. Hold on a second. Uh, it, okay. If ah, anybody word. should be. If anybody. Maybe because she's angry. Yeah, she's angry. I talk to who? It looks exactly like me. <laughs> Did you just roll your eyes at him? Because let me tell you something, if anybody should be rolling their eyes, it is me and him about you. Yeah, the second one is at him, at him. It's more of a stop sound. Uh-huh. She okay. Do you have the do you have the, the that uh scene? Uh, yeah. Do you still have that scene or yep. uh because uh when she says if any if anybody if anybody I think that she she makes a stop sound with the F uh, sound as well. What do you think? With if the anybody, F? If anybody should be wrong in the... Yeah, it's possible. Yeah? Let what me listen. Did you just swallow your eyes at him? Because let me tell you something. If anybody should be rolling their eyes, it is... Yeah, she, she basically says, if anybody, if anybody, the F is really weak. Uh, I think it's probably because of the microphone, the uh -huh. audio problems. But generally... If the okay. if the audio would be discernible, we would be able to hear it. But yeah, it's really tough to hear. I do agree. Okay. Yeah, because you know it's a consonant in next to a vowel. Yeah. And be linking. the connection uh, usually happen. Yeah, and right? yeah. and believe me, there should be a connection. I think we can't hear it because yeah. of a, a audio microphone problem. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, but we can uh, say instead of F sound, V sound, if anybody, if anybody. It's possible, Sergey, but I think most Americans would say an F sound, but some people yeah. might might use kind of a V sound, yes. Especially uh, a heavier accent, uh, if anybody, if anybody. Yeah, I definitely can hear it. It's possible. More questions. You guys are too nice. All right. TDM 93 is done. Hey, Michael's here. Long time no see to Michael. Let's wait for him to get connected properly. Oh, uh, one question. One last question, Shane. Yeah. The word the word madam I know that I got that wrong I got I got that one wrong because yeah, I um I heard man. And Which, I know that You mean mannequin? No madam, madam, madam. Ah, madam, yes. And I know you guys say excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Right. Ma'am. 
ma'am. Yeah, I'm yeah. Something like, ma'am. Yeah, it's ma sure. Excuse it's me, ma'am. Ma'am, I pray you're not toying with me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. D is gone. The D is gone. No, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, but he, yeah, yeah when, when generally, I, that's right, guys, generally, and I put this in the glossary, generally we say this, but Kramer did go. say this. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep, and I'll play that again. Hold on a second. <laughs> I thought George was being his hair. No, he's going downtown and guarding soup. He's guarding a suit. <laughs> And madam, I pray you're not toying with me. And madam, I pray you're not toying with me. And yeah. Madam, I pray madam. you're not toying with me. Madam, I pray you're not toying with me. Madam, I. Yeah. Madam, I. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. So once again, this is the most common in America, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, but ma'am. But Kramer, Kramer's different. Uh, so he has his own style, madam, <laughs> madam. And like I said, if you watch the uh, video, I think I told everybody I would not use madam. And I would be careful with using ma'am, too. With a guy, you can say sir anytime. With a woman, I don't say anything. Um, unless I know it's a, a married woman and she's talking about her husband, then I might say ma'am. But even so... For a woman, I don't say anything. Uh, for a guy, I do say sir. Ms. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Santa asked about Ms. <clears throat> um, if I'm writing a letter, if I'm writing a letter or an email, uh, Ms. is fine. Um, but what's nice about America, and I think the UK also, I'm not sure about the UK, generally, we can just use the person's name. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, Ms. Smith. You can just say, Ann. Uh, hello, Ann, instead of, hello, Ms. Smith. Uh, so it's okay to use names, but uh, you got to, yeah. In Brit, they use love, darling. Yeah, that's, that's weird for me, too. Yeah, Miguel says he hates it too, yeah. 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 I know I hate it because I know it's uh, it's fake. Well, it's it's not <laughs> fake. Once again, it's not fake. Uh it's it just means ma'am or sir or person. It, it has it doesn't have the meaning that we <laughs> study in the dictionary. So, it's it's just different. Mm. So people have to people, especially foreign guys, have to understand when some when a woman in the UK says, "Yes, love, can I help you? Yes, dear, can I help you?" They are not interested in you. They're just calling you sir. It just means sir. It doesn't mean yeah, yeah. anything else. I would say, uh, I like it. Day I met you. I like it. <laughs> It's so, sometimes I feel like I, I sometimes sometimes I feel like saying uh, don't call me darling anymore. Don't call and me I, darling. I don't say yeah. It. yeah. It's yeah, it yeah, sounds patronizing. Really, yeah. yeah. It's just it's just some people's way of speaking. So try not to let it bother you. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't we have Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello, Shai. Long time no see. Yes, long time no see. I just noticed uh, that Jerry changed his girlfriend. Uh, how, how many girlfriends does Jerry change? Because last time it's Winona, but now it's Orgy. <laughs> Every show is a new woman for Jerry. Jerry's oh. relationships are not deep. They're very shallow dinner relationships and that's it oh my god yeah. Jerry yeah. is happy <laughs> no yeah. Jerry's not no, happy no, Jerry's not, not happy, happy. <laughs> enjoying apple pie and uh, eating you know what <laughs> you, know, you know why Michael <laughs> because because Jerry writes the script <laughs> yeah that's true that's true yeah, yeah. that's true yeah 
Jerry needs a better hairdresser. Yes, I think that might be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry needs my hairstyle. <laughs> Fabio and, and uh, myself, we have the best hairstyles. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish DDM93 and we're going to go to DDM94. And uh, I'll just have everybody read a paragraph. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've got seven people. So we'll do this. Fabio, the first one, title in the first one, and then Barbara, and then Height, and then Michael, and then Miguel. Where's that bad sound coming from? Make sure your microphone is off if you're not speaking. <laughs> And uh, Michael, you're dying. And then I'll have Sergey do the last one. <laughs> Turn your microphone off if you're not speaking, okay? Michael, turn your microphone off. Miguel, turn your microphone off. <laughs> okay. It sounds good. Yep, go for it, Fabio. Watch what you flash. Can't you can be rid of what is can be a hassle? But despite the inconvenience, disposal and unwanted items improperly can lead to trouble for everyone around you. I didn't say. <laughs> the bad. The the firm Scott Warren with. Recently I know some of the bizarre things found in the country's swirls last year. In 2013, over 40,000 blockages in the drains and swear network were discovered and attended to. Hi. Uh, one of the most noteworthy and ironically named items and a foul was Winnie the Pooh Bear. A few other included a rust bicycle, a Bose Albert motor, a hand chuck, a deck chair, an outdated fast machine, and a snake. Good job. Michael. Okay. Those goods have been tossed on main holes. The company also re released some belongings that were flushed down toilets and later caused the parkage. Miguel. Uh, okay. Jeans, toilet figurines, I don't know, and mobile phones were sent down, were sent down the party without a second thought by locals. Following the problem finding, Scottish were launched a campaign to alert residents of the problems caused by unnecessary blockages. Good job, Sergey. The efforts to correct obstructions reportedly cost over eleven point five million dollars each year. The awareness campaign will involve TV and radio ads urging residents to dispose or waste responsibly. Great job. Let me go back to the top. Fabio, everything's red. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Fabio, get the CHs. Watch what you flush. Watch what you flush. Very good. Now, this one, uh, intonation is important. What? what but what? despite what? the what? inconvenience, Despite the inconvenience. Okay, so this is incon, incon, inconvenience. But despite the inconvenience. Very good. One more time. But despite the inconvenience. But despite the inconvenience. Disposing unwanted items improperly. Disposing unwanted items improperly. Can lead to trouble. Can lead to trouble. For everyone around you. For everyone around you. Very good. Can you do it one more time, please? But despite the inconvenience. 
you also know when to be acting properly can lead to trouble from everyone around you. Sounds excellent, much better. And Barbara, uh, the firm Scottish Water. The firm Scottish Water. Good. Now this gets a little bit confusing, so the company always emphasize it. The firm Scottish Water, and make sure there's a clean break between these two. The firm Scottish Water. The firm Scottish Water. Perfect. 2013. 2013. Good. Get those THs. 40,000. 40,000. Thousand. There you go. That's right. Blockages. Blockages. Good job. And discovered. 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 Very good. Very good. And height. Yes. One of the most noteworthy. One of the most noteworthy. Get that TH. One of the most noteworthy. One of the most noteworthy. Very good. You got it. A few others included. A few others included. Oh, be careful with the TH. A few others included. A few others included. A rusted bicycle. A rusted bicycle. A boat's outboard motor. I'm sorry. A boat's outboard motor. A boat's outboard motor. Outboard motor. Outboard motor. Very good. Good job. And get the O sound for this one, Michael. Manhole. Okay. Manholes. Uh, get the L sound. Manholes. Manholes. Very good. Blockages. Blockages. Perfect. Miguel, figurines. Figurines. Launched a campaign. Okay, Scottish, oh, sorry. Launched a campaign. Very good, very good. And Sergey, the, the awareness campaign. Yeah, yeah. The awareness campaign. Very good, and that is it. It's a short one, it's a simple one. Santa asks, how is it possible to, yeah, jeans, I don't know how they did it, but they flushed uh, jeans down a toilet. That is determination. Really? I, I guess they were skinny jeans. <laughs> they should be daisy. Daisy jeans. Daisy jeans. What? Daisy. Da Daisy. 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 Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Daisy. Daisy. Ah, uh, Daisy Dukes. Oh yeah, the little short shorts. Daisy Dukes. Short yeah. shorts. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Short shorts. Yeah. Maybe for a Barbie doll. <laughs> yeah. How do you know Daisy Dukes? That goes back to the 1970s. Well. You know, I like uh, culture. Culture. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Anyway. <laughs> yes. yes, you do. <laughs> More questions. Yeah, Shane. Do, do, do you say uh, you are a bastard, you are an unwanted child? Yes, we could say that, Sergey. I hope Lovely, nobody yeah. says that to you. <laughs> Come on, every, every day. I, that's, yeah. That's not nice. Why? Oh, say. Yes, hi. I have a question. Because I watch uh, news and I see in the winter it's very cold in you US some some areas, some regions. Yes. So I think the water under the, the, the pipe system, under the sewer, will be frozen. That's possible, so, yes. Is that true? Yeah, it's possible. Usually, sewage water is warm. It's usually warm. Uh, but yes, sewer pipes can freeze. And if they freeze, it, uh, it breaks the pipe. 
and that's a big problem. And I think it also causes uh, the blockages. I don't know if, yeah, it's possible, Hai. Uh, I don't know for sure, but it is definitely possible. <laughs> that's a disgusting problem. Yes, but you live in New York, uh, you live in Nevada and you don't yeah, have we don't, to worry about we it. We don't have that problem here. Even when I, hi, when I lived in northern Wisconsin, we never had a problem. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but water pipes do freeze, that's for sure. I see a conversation. Uh, about air quotes and uh, I'll turn my camera and I'll show you what air quotes are. Air quotes are when uh, when you do this. So Miguel says uh, I like I like the American culture. Uh, that's the idea. When you do that with your when you, when you use your fingers. Yeah these are called <laughs> air quotes. Air quotes. Ah. First time I'm here. Yeah, oh, good culture. expression. It, yeah. Is, it, it is culture at the end of the day. Dave. Yeah, well, it's it's seventies hippie culture. Air guitar. Yeah, that, yeah I play the air yeah, drums. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, guys. I I I stick to I'm on it. You you know uh, we say in Germany. Unwanted foreigners or unwanted pregnancy. Yeah, great stuff. I like that. Yeah, unwanted. Uh, yeah, unwanted. Yeah, you you uh, you you skip the T sound chain. Unwanted. Yes, that's right. Unwanted pregnancy, unwanted foreigners. Yes, those are terms yeah. we use in America too. Yeah. And and you know, Shane, you you don't really like uh, foreigners. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Oh, I love foreigners. Oh, well, wow. yeah, foreigners built Other... America. But yeah. but you 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 know Shane. Uh, for example, you have one job <laughs> to get, yeah, and maybe a uh, yeah, a foreigner and you. What would you say? Take a job, you, <laughs> my lovely foreigner. Oh well, to be honest, um, I I have had that situation and. Yeah. Uh, Every time I won, so I'm very confident. Uh, so, <laughs> um, when I was at the university, the university uh, hires people, uh, you know, in the computer labs and and other areas. And uh, when I got a job as a computer network manager, um, there was another guy from Singapore who was trying for the same job. And uh, I was hired. But you know what, Sergey? My boss was a foreigner. She was an immigrant. She was from Taiwan. So uh, I, I, it really, for I think for the high-skill jobs, it doesn't matter where you're from. But I think it's more of a problem for the lower-skill jobs, for the factory jobs and stuff like that. I think that's where people tend to have uh, uh, problems with foreigners. Great point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they are called aliens. I was an alien for 20 years. Miguel, you are an alien really? in the UK. I, I'm, I'm, that's, a, that's a honor to me. That's a what? I'm honored. Honored, honored. That's an honored. honor. Oh, honored. That's an honor to me. There you go. M Miguel, yeah. well, what kind of job do you have? Not not very high skilled job, boy. Boy. Me. Yeah. No, I don't. Now Miguel, now wait a second. I'm going to defend Miguel. Miguel has had several opportunities to work in the hotel industry, which is what he's trained to do, but he had he had problems and the big problem was his bosses wouldn't give him enough responsibility. Is that true, Miguel? 
uh, kind of, and also I don't, uh, I just don't, I just don't like it. I don't. Uh, you didn't like the type I of. I don't work. like working. I don't like that work. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to make a, 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 a to get a career out of it. I oh yeah, in the hotel I industry, to get a career it takes a lot of time at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, but but I don't see myself making a a career uh, out of it because I don't <laughs> I don't have the uh, the drive. The drive, the motivation, yeah. Do that. Yeah, you have a it, it's an attitude problem, but I don't mean a negative <laughs> attitude. It's a motivation problem. Yeah, it's it's just that I don't. I mean, if if you don't have the drive, you, you cannot. Uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, you cannot uh, compete. You cannot be uh, productive. That's true. If you don't uh, have the drive, the motivation, it's it's hard to be productive, and you are not an asset for the company. Yeah, you're gonna be average. Mm. Um, <coughs> that's not enough. That's you right. Not be average. At some point. You want the uh, you want to be asked for more. You want to be asked for for uh, an upgrade. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, uh, Shan, yes, Shan. yes. I I have something different I want to share with you. Okay. Because you know, uh, Miguel is working uh, in hotel industry. I would like to say what is different uh, uh, from China is uh, the hotel. Uh, for China, if you want to book a hotel, you don't need to uh, input your credit card, you don't need to your debit card, you just call the hotel, uh, that's, uh, uh, you just call the hotel and uh, tell, tell them which day you want to check in, no need to credit card, no need. But in UK and America, you must to use a credit card, is that right? I don't know how about other country. Yeah, in America you need to when you make a hotel reservation in America, you need to have a credit card. What about in the UK, Miguel? Same. The same thing. Yeah. Yeah, you you need to do that. You mean you mean yeah. Are you mean on the phone or face to face? On the phone. Yeah, but in China you don't on need the phone. You don't need even it is a five-star hotel, you don't need a credit card. You just call it. You just wow. call it. Which day you want to check in, then he will make a resolution for you. Wow, that's really convenient. You guys, you guys are very trustworthy. Yeah, and also, and also in China, uh, for a five-star hotel, it's very cheap. Then everywhere, uh, uh, everywhere in the world, it's oh. very, very cheap. I guess maybe because there are many, many hotels? Yes, that's right. Many, many hotels in China. Wow. That's really convenient. If I go to China, I will remember that and I will stay at the nice, nice hotel. <laughs> you should, yes. No, Shen sure, sure. I, I would like to give one comment. Yes. I have been in Shanghai one night and I, when I book the hotel, I have to pay $100 per night and also I have and um, I have to give some deposit money one hundred okay. dollars for deposit money in, in Shanghai airport oh okay. that is the, the fact. hi hi you mean you book a hotel and uh, you put one hundred US dollar and some deposit uh, to that hotel yeah don't need actually you don't need I trust you must uh, book that hotel via an agency. But if you call that hotel directory, you don't need to pay anything. Did you, you just call, did you call directly high or did you use an agency? I I go there face to face. Oh face to face. You know what though, uh, Michael, I think uh, in China it's different for foreigners. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Right. Uh, maybe yeah, it might be different. Yeah. So, hi, next time you come to China, just call me. I will book a nice hotel for you. 
without no any... way, man. No way. <laughs> <laughs> or anybody else in the in our group in the in this DDM, call me. I will book a nice hotel for you. Thank you very <laughs> much, Michael. That's excellent. <laughs> Now we have a hotel, Michael. What's that, Miguel? Yeah. Miguel. Yes, a hotel room. Yes, a hotel room. Hey, stop it! Thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> very good. That's very. And, good. and the, would you offer some uh, call girls? No, no, stop it! I said, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to mute Sergey and Miguel. One more non P13 comment, and you guys are <laughs> muted. <laughs> But I was. <laughs> Any other questions? Was a, was a, remember, there was a DDM DDM where we we learned we learned a word, uh, and I don't remember. And that word I sh would be great if, if I remember that word because that would that word would match this situation perfectly. Oh, but I cannot remember when it's. Uh, when you say when you use a very explicit, you know, uh, bad language, uh -huh. or, or you know, when it comes to when when when, for instance, porn or or very when you swear a lot or porn por mm -hmm. pornography, what's 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 the word? Uh, explicit. You said explicit. That's a good word. No, but that was it was another it was another word a synonym. Can you think of the synonym right now? Uh, bad language, explicit, uh, raw. I, was it was it the one with the memory? I don't remember. It, it was a word, a great word, and uh, the the nuance, the 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 the, the idea was uh, something explicit in, hmm. when, uh, in terms of uh, yeah raw, you know whether is about pornography or, or that language. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Graphic? Any. Graphic? Graphic, yeah. Graphic. Graphic? Yeah. Yep. It was I think it was graphic. That's right. Graphic. Yeah. yeah. No graphic language. I, wa yeah. I wasn't I wasn't graphic. No, you weren't, but you were about to be. And then Sergey went overboard. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's. I, yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, the, I, uh, don't you say? I woke up girl, the beast. I'm sorry. Big girl, I I wanna speak a big girl. Or, uh, or, I don't or, know, Sergey. One more time. Okay. Any other questions, you guys? Yeah. Okay, Shane. Yeah, what's your favorite expression? Uh, yeah, about eyes. You 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 know, to roll your eyes at somebody or to get hit. Uh, yeah, between eyes by something. You know. I, I like. Uh, do, are you wearing glasses, Shane? A pair of glasses? Sure. Yeah, you know, I, I can. I can say you. Yeah, four eyed. Four yeah, eyed. That's right. Yeah, yeah. four four eyed sicko. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Four yeah. eyed. Yes. We, we. Yeah. We say, especially with children, uh, when they tease each other, they say four eyes, uh, and that's a, a child who wears glasses. It's a it's an expression that we use when we're in elementary school. And it's and we use it to tease to tease the students. So they say four eyes, four eyes, you got four eyes. That's the idea uh for children. Yeah. So we yeah. can tease you, Shane, yeah. <laughs> you got four eyes, Shane. Yeah, yeah you can tease me, but it has no effect. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, More questions. What about Fabio and Barbara? No, no questions. Thank you. Fabio, what happened to your article? Do you know? Did it get uh, published or not? Um, it's, uh, not yet, because the, uh, they are reading and thinking about reviewing. Culture. I'll give you a feedback as soon as I know. It's Very good. Safe. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for your help. Oh, it's no problem. I didn't do much. I hardly did anything. So uh, it's it's no problem at all. Okay, thank you. Your, your writing.
Your writing was very, very good. And I noticed that you used some expressions that we've studied. Uh, live and learn. There you go. I think you used the word hodgepodge. Yes. Brilliant. And uh, pot, 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 potpourri. 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 Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> I was very happy to see those words. Yes. Very good. Potpourri with a T, Santa. And hodgepodge, get rid of the Y's and just use an E. There you go. All right. It seems as though there are no other questions. Is 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 a hand truck chain uh, an American usage or? Y yeah, we do because... we do say hand truck some people, but most Americans say dolly. Okay, D O L L Y. Uh, yeah, this is this is the word that most Americans use, dolly. Uh, and uh, we could say a push cart. A push cart is another word that we could use. Uh, hand truck, that's okay, but dolly is the most common. When I, I used to work <clears throat> at a, a grocery store, and I worked at UPS, and we used dollies all the time. Dolly was the word that we used. Not a trolley, a dolly. <laughs> a man's dolly. Not a little girl's dolly. You don't you don't ever use trolley for for a hot for a hand truck? No, trolley I think is different, isn't it? I yes I know, but here a couple of times I think the, some people said you know, it was the same thing. It was a it was a it was a hand truck. Oh, really? A couple Couple of people said trolley, maybe because they 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 didn't want the thing at that okay. time. Okay. Okay. So uh, trolley. This this is the idea. I, I guess so. Yeah. So they do have trolley here, but I don't think it's very American to me. When we say trolley, once again, yeah. the first image we have are, are the train, uh, like San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, but but that's a cable car. Yeah, but that's the idea. This 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 image is uh, the idea of the Main Street trolley. You see the cable car here. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they do have. Uh, this is in America. We just say a cart. Um, but yeah, you're right. Oh. They do have trolley here for uh, the hand cart. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whenever we'll use trolley again. Never use it again. I think it's British English, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, then. I just woke up. <laughs> it just dropped out of my list. Very good, very good. Bye-bye, honey. <laughs> <laughs> A dessert cart is my favorite cart. Ah, yes. What about a shopping cart? A dessert. <laughs> a dessert cart. Santa is very clever with the words. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up unless you have other questions. Once again, Michael, I'm glad that you finally joined us. We missed you. Yes, I missed you too. Very good, very good. And hi, you have a lovely week. Uh, good luck on your studies. Uh, Miguel, are you working this weekend or are you yes, off this you. weekend? Uh, if, I, if I worked. Are you working this weekend or if are you I off this weekend? If I... Well, tomorrow. I'm, I'm off tomorrow. Oh, very good, very good. Enjoy your day off. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Of course, I, I will. 
And Santa, as always, it's very good to see your one-line comments. Uh, thank you very much. And Sergey, you yeah. have to you have to get rid of your American girlfriend. She's destroying your English. Yeah. It sounds terrible. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I'm, 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 I'm gonna meet a platonic uh, friend, you know. That's no a man. good idea. Nasty and dirty things, no man. Yeah, yes, no please, man. please. <laughs> platonic, only platonic. You platonic can. is the best. Like I said, you, yeah. you uh, stick to the iPhones Siri, and you'll be okay. Miguel, platonic only. Poetry and nice uh, stuff, you know, not sex. Okay. You guys have a great week, and I will see you next week, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. See you. Sure. Take care.